hello and welcome back to a new video tutorial so in this video we're gonna import uh, this uh, environment it was free in March but I think it's paid now this will work mostly to any environment but try to select one that's not very uh, heavy uh, graphically heavy I mean so there's two ways to accomplish this the first one is like to load uh, a new VR project and like uh, import uh, 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 for example like if you're using DAS and environment to the VR template this way is better for like uh, non interactive environments this one is interactive the modern house it has like you can open the scripts and blueprint uh, 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 like interactions that you can open doors and stuff so this way the second way is to open the environment if it's complex like this one then import the VR template and do some tweaking here and there to optimize it so here's the link again I'm gonna post it in the description so it's easier to copy and paste so you have to select open in launcher and this will trigger it to download this will actually is a better way to do it to add to a project rather than opening the one supplied by the developer we don't want to complicate it so we just do like launch so we basically created the, the environment inside of project we're gonna start with a uh, blank project and let's uh, call it uh, anything you can remember maybe like environment so now a new uh, blank project opened um, so we will use this as basis so we can add to project so this basically adds the environment to this project um, I think we're gonna delete the terrain and stuff like that this is the way I've chose as I said before there's multiple ways to skin a cat so you can use the same environment and add VR to it or start with a VR template then add but we're gonna go with this way and close it and go to the library then we're gonna select add to project select the environment we just created so now we're gonna see it's initializing verifying and it's gonna start downloading meanwhile we're gonna load the level so we have to open the level each environment has a different level but uh, this one you have to browse to usually it's like inside the map and demo map and we're gonna open it so here is it now something I want to show you is that you can download a playable uh, demo this one's like a, a exe file where it's like a standalone application you can play with it and see it before so you can like uh, test the waters and see what to expect so here is the loaded level it's still preparing shares as you can see and almost done so we're gonna press the play but before you notice that there's an error we're gonna fix that later now this is, this is just inside the editor this is 2d still it's not vr so you can press e to interact so as you can see this blueprints so that's that's why i wanted to anchor add import this to a project not the other way around uh, as you can see it's a very nice environment even the editor we're gonna go up I've noticed that it's, it's a little bit low to the ground maybe there's a key a keyboard presses and a blueprint action that can raise it a bit but uh, for preview pur purposes uh, let's go up a bit yeah this is the whole house you can open the door as well this is like a children's room there's other rooms and bathrooms so that that's it for now so now we we're gonna add VR to it. We're gonna go to, uh, to the content drawing using uh, control and space, then add features, select the virtual reality template, and add. That's basically it. That's how you add the VR to a, a project. Close this. Uh, it's gonna prompt you to the start. Now we're back. You're gonna notice that the level is included. Uh, so we can go to project settings to maps and modes and default load default map this will allow it to load the map each time you start the Unreal Engine and the, and the project that's better than loading it manually and uh, that's just a tip here 
but for now we're gonna load it manually but next time it's gonna load uh, automatically all right here is it all right so as you can see we can use the uh, camera and the arrow keys to walk through it now we're gonna select the VR mode in world settings that we allow it to be set up uh, for VR um, another thing you can you will notice that we still cannot teleport so we're gonna we have to add like uh, a nav mesh we do this by going to edit sorry to the plus button here volumes nav mesh bound volume so this is the bounding box you have to expand it so it covers the entirety of the house i'm gonna fast forward this this is just the normal uh, way of uh, moving and scaling objects you can select it from the uh, toolbar above so now we're gonna try and launch it in vr but the problem is can you see, as you can see the vr preview is grayed out so we have to connect the oculus uh, if you have a tablet with, uh, with this step check my previous video of how to enable uh, vr uh, preview mode in uh, unveil engine so it should be connecting right about now you're gonna see something like this inside your goggles just select allow so now it's connected if you want to make sure that it's really connected go to devices the oculus app you can see it's connected and active uh, there's an issue with that it's not connected to usb 3 uh, for testing purposes i'm using uh, usb 2 the, the cable that came with the oculus and it works good uh, I highly recommend using USB 3 for better performance uh, you can use even uh, the wireless link it's good in my opinion it's better than USB 2 but uh, not USB 3 so it's up to you so if you go back to the uh, VR preview you're gonna see it's uh, grayed out you have to go back and reopen Unreal uh, you can also uh, unlink the cable and link it back just unplug it this will solve issues now we're gonna search for player start. This is the point the player is born when we start the game. So uh, the idea is, is to uh, situate it inside the house because the blueprints like the action, we, uh, the E button that will open doors and stuff, it will not work now. Uh, so we're gonna situate it in a way that it's, it's almost in a, a freestanding uh, point, like this one. We're gonna speed it up. Uh, so now we're inside uh, You can see that there's bad size. This is because the uh, capsule is below the ground uh, the big arrow the light blue one show uh, Showcases where the character is facing. It's different than the blue which with the, It's the one that you can gra grab so you can uh, Position the player above we can position it near the door. That's better now we're gonna save and uh, you can see VR preview is working if you don't see it working please check a uh, previous video on how to set up VR preview mode it, it's, it, it gets into uh, the whole thing in much better details so we're gonna click it and now we're in one thing before we proceed we're gonna enhance performance a bit we're gonna go to settings uh, the reason is uh, in VR you're gonna do everything twice because it's for each eye so it's better to go to engine scalability settings and change it to lowest usually like Kai or Epic I think that way it's better performance so now we're gonna launch it again go to VR preview uh, here we are we can start uh, moving our head and you can see the hands we can teleport it's good quality you can expand it now so it's full screen almost full screen you can see the frame is okay you can always optimize it later uh, later on we're gonna use like uh, walking and not just teleporting it's like uh, locomotion they call it i mean it's still a little bit low this can be fixed so that's it for now uh, stay tuned for next video in the series please don't forget to like and subscribe this is very important so that i can make more videos it takes a lot of time for me to uh, fix issues uh, 
come up with the ideas, uh, video record them and stuff and then edit. I would really appreciate it. Thanks.